Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a hot minute since I popped in front of the camera, but I wanted to get on today and talk to you about some of my summertime favorites. I've got a whole slew of beauty products to get to, a couple of books, but one of the things I wanted to start out with was sort of a mini challenge. If you've been following along on my blog at all, you'll know that I started pottery classes earlier this year. I think it was February, January or February. I signed up very randomly for a local pottery class and I have loved it, which is why I'm holding this mug semi-awkwardly in front of you right now. Um, this is something I made. It has been so much fun to learn a new skill and to kind of get back into that art scene. I went to school for art. I was a studio art and art history major. So being back in a studio has just been so much fun and it's been kind of empowering too. So I kind of wanted to jump in first thing and challenge all of you guys to consider taking a class this summer. Learn a new skill, whether that's sewing or pottery or anything you can think of. Just something that you've had like in the back of your mind that you think, I would really love to learn how to do this. Even if it's just purely for fun but if you can think of something practical too that's always great so let me know down below what you decide to do because i'm so curious and always looking for new ideas for classes to take myself to so that was the first thing i wanted to talk about but um let's move into beauty since i have quite a bit to share first i wanted to talk to you about a new hair dryer i blow dry my hair every single morning if i don't my hair just ends up really wavy and it's not attractive. So this titanium hair dryer is my new go-to in the mornings. It has helped my hair feel really strong and silky all throughout these really, really hot months. I kind of don't start my day without it. It's super lightweight, easy to hold. One of the things I always look for in a hair dryer is having a good place to put my hand. I can't stand when you're trying to grip a hair dryer and your hands end up accidentally turning it off or changing the setting from hot to cold. It's one of my biggest pet peeves. I know it's kind of silly, but I love that this one has a great grip area. So definitely a new favorite for summer. And like I said, I can't start my day without it. Another great day starter is this new to me toothpaste from Hello. I have both the activated charcoal toothpaste and also their really cool manual toothbrush. Obviously the packaging itself is just super cool. It's another one of those things that I don't mind leaving out on my countertop. But the other really cool thing about this is that it's all natural. It whitens naturally removes plaque and freshens breath, of course, and it also tastes pretty awesome. This one's flavored with fresh mint and coconut oil. One thing I did want to warn you about though is that it is activated charcoal, so it does come out of the tube black. So it turns your mouth sort of an unsightly shade of charcoal gray, but I promise you it's worth the kind of whoa moment and it tastes really great, like I said, and really works too. The other cool thing about Hello products is that they come in a whole bunch of different types. So you can get toothpastes that are extra whitening with fluoride, fluoride free whitening toothpaste, even some that have sensitivity relief. So there really is one for everybody this summer. Sorry about that, I just had a new rug delivered, so maybe before I end this, I'll unwrap it and show you what I got because I'm pretty excited about it. But anyway, moving on, I feel like beach waves and sea salt sprays are sort of all the rage right now since it's summertime, but I've been really loving this Sea Sugar Salt-Free Beach Spray from Colorproof. I spray it into my hair when it's damp, just out of the shower, and let it sort of air dry, and I could be making this up in my head, but I swear it air dries faster with this stuff in my hair. It smells really good, almost a little sugary as you'd guess from the name but it leaves my hair feeling a little bit fuller than it would without it's just a quick spritz right out of the shower I barely have to think about it so this is another one that I've really loved adding to my routine this summer so that's all the sort of skincare um, more base level products I wanted to talk about but now I wanted to move into the makeup so this one from glow skin beauty is their pressed base I have it in beige light it's a really easy compact to use with a little sponge that comes with it too um, and a great mirror but basically I I just use it as an all over face foundation and I'm wearing it today. It's really nice for covering up those under eye bags and just sort of evens out skin tone. I've had a couple of sunspots kind of pop up since turning 30. So this has been a great way for me to cover those up and just sort of even out my skin tone. Next up is bronzer because you can't not talk about bronzer in the summertime. So this one is from Christy Brinkley and it's called the Sunkissed Bliss Sheer Powder Bronzer. I have it in burnished bronze and I'm wearing it today. And it's just a great way for me to get a little bit of a sun-kissed glow. I don't spend a ton of time out in the sun, so I love to use bronzer in the summer months to sort of cheat my way to a tan without having to bake in the sun for hours on end. Whether you use your fingertips or a brush to apply it, this is a great bronzer. I think you'll love it this summer. 
I've been hearing a lot about highlighters this season, and I think it's just an easy way for people to get that sun-kissed glow, again, without having to spend a ton of time out in the sun. So I'm giving this Heaven's Hue Highlighter from Stila a try. I really love how easy it is to apply. Again, I just use my fingertips instead of a brush because it allows me to really localize it. I like to put it just on the outside of my eyes and a little bit down the bridge of my nose. I have it in Magnificence, which is sort of a peachy, pinky look to it. So I'm excited to keep using this one this summer. I think it's gonna be a fun way to sort of dress things up without a lot of effort. Now I wanted to move on to eyes. Another new to me brand is Crunchy. This one is another one of those all natural, toxin-free, gluten-free, cruelty-free skincare and makeup brands that I have been absolutely dying to test and I'm really excited to finally have my hands on their eyeshadows. This one is called Tiki, and it's just a really super subtle brown, which I think is so flattering this time of year. It's really nice against a subtle suntan, and of course, I just really love the vegan formula. This eyeshadow is a great way to sort of get in on the crunchy fad. Two other eye products I've been loving lately, this eyeliner, which I'm wearing today, and also this brow liner, which I'm also wearing today. The brow liner is from Glow Skin Beauty and is their Precise Micro Brow Liner in dark brown. And it's a two-step process, so you draw it on and then use the bristle brush on the other end to sort of work it in. Then the eyeliner, this one from Stila, is their Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner with a micro tip. And that's the point I really wanted to make about this liner. It is a super fine tip and it allows you to get sort of a finer detail when you're putting on your liner. In fact, I actually like to kind of build it up. I do a really, really thin, thin line and then I sort of add on top of that until I get the thickness that I like. I mentioned Glow Skin Beauty with the brow liner, but I also wanted to talk about their Calm Skin Set. This collection comes with a cleanser, serum, their Balancing Moisture Remedy, and also their Protecting Powder SPF 20, which comes in a translucent shade that I actually use for a finishing powder on top of all my makeup once everything is finished. It's a great way to sort of set my summer makeup. I'm sort of calling out the protecting powder, but it really is worth noting that the entire set is awesome. It really helps to hydrate and sort of condition my skin. So when I do go out in the sun, my skin doesn't go haywire. So that's it for beauty, and now I wanted to talk very quickly about a few of my new favorite books this summer. The first is called A Life Less Throw away by Tara Button and has been a real inspiration for me as I work to purge a lot of the things in our house. I don't know if it's me just coming down off of a spring cleaning high or something like that, but this summer has been all about organization and getting rid of excess stuff. So this book has been a huge inspiration to me. It's helped me sort of appreciate the things that we already have that I know will stand the test of time. It's helped me rethink the way I shop. And of course it's helped me to declutter too. So if you're also on the hunt for some motivation, inspiration, tips, advice, for getting things under control in your house, this book is for you. In the same vein, I wanted to also mention the curated closet. I actually got this from our library. So that's another tip for you. If you're desperate for some new reads this summer, try the library first so that you don't end up spending a lot of money. Going to the library to grab this book instead of buying it outright off of Amazon saved me probably at least 20 bucks. So I definitely recommend going that route. But even if I had splurged on this book, it would have been worth the money. Basically, it's just a really awesome resource for honing in on your personal stuff and figuring out how to purge your closet of items that you no longer love or use. And there are tips for organization and how to shop better for yourself. Ideas for finding styling advice through things like Pinterest or magazines. So basically this is my new favorite book this summer. I can't get enough of it. I've been telling my friends about it, my family about it, strangers about it. Do yourself a favor, go check it out at your library or go and buy it from the bookstore because it really is worth the money. Another book I picked up from the library was The Love and Lemons Cookbook, which is something I've heard about on the internet like a million times and everyone swears by it. And now we do too. We picked probably five or six recipes to try in the last couple of weeks since I got it from the library and every single one has been a smash hit. And we really love that they're plant-based. We aren't vegan or vegetarian, so we did add meat to a couple of the recipes, but it honestly didn't even need it. Each one is perfect for making the most of farmer's market produce and just adds a little bit of jazz to your summer meal planning. So that's kind of it from me on my summer favorites. Definitely let me know in the comments if you have a summer favorite of your own that you wanna share. As promised, I'm gonna go unwrap that rug that's sitting over in the corner just taunting me so you can get a sneak peek of it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you guys in my next video.